In a few months, we could see the first private company to actually land on the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off. SpaceX recently launched the lunar lander for a Japanese company called iSpace, not MySpace, iSpace. And what they're trying to do is a big deal. Ultimately, iSpace wants to create an economy around the moon. This is iSpace's first mission and it's been highly anticipated and it kicked off on Sunday with that launch and we're thinking that it will land if successful around April. Now, if they're successful, iSpace will be the first private company to land on the moon. iSpace's founder and CEO says that this is the very, very beginning of a new era. According to the CNBC article by Michael Sheets that I will link in the description, iSpace was founded over a decade ago and it actually originated as a team competing for the Google Lunar X Prize. They were under the name Hakuto and this is after a mythological Japanese white rabbit. Apparently the X Prize competition was canceled so iSpace pivoted, they expanded their goals and now they're looking to create an economically viable ecosystem around the moon. They have about 200 employees around the world right now including about 50 in the Denver area iSpace has raised funds from investors, bringing in over $230 million to date. This is through a mixture of equity and debt. iSpace has 10 milestones for this mission. So far, they have completed three. Those include preparation for launch, deployment after launch, and establishing a communication link. We can now anticipate a maneuver in orbit, a one month period flying through space before entering the moon's orbit, and of course, landing on the moon. I'm just so excited for what 2023 will have in store as far as the space industry is concerned. And I'm very glad that I am full-time Ellie in space, so I'll be able to cover as much as I can. I can't be everywhere around the world at once. In 2022, I finally saw my first rocket launch. It was only back in September, so yes, 30 years old, I finally witnessed in person a rocket launch, but I'm hoping for 2023 that we will see Starship launch. So you don't wanna miss that. I will do my best not to miss that. I am full time now, so I'm planning on going to that. No matter what, we just need to have that happen. So a lot to look forward to. Let me know in the comments what you are most looking forward to for next year.